Where are we now, Connor? We're in oh, the gosh. land that a superhero was born. Recognize this place, new kid? A little child laying awake at night, unable to sleep. Why have you brought us here? Don't you see? This is the night, new kid. The fateful night your dad fucked your mom. You walked to the mirror. Don't do this to him. But don't you see, Coon? This is what he wanted all along. To fix it. Oh. Oh. You heard your mother calling for help, so you left your room. Oh, go, new kid. You can't change the past. Of course you can. Go look. My true backstory. What's this? He smiled then. Yes. Don't you see, new kid? I've given you an opportunity. Which will you do, new kid? Fight the bad guys again? Or fight your younger self? So that you never have to witness what's behind your parents' door. Bad guys? Hey, man, look, we're just followers. What? You're the little kid with, the, like, a zillion followers, right? We just thought... Well, we thought that if you could add us, and maybe... You know, maybe we could have friends. Because we don't really have any followers. Couldn't you please add us? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Our moment. Our yeah, moment's sure. happening. <laughs> Look at that! I got three we new followers. Did it, everyone, I, I'm so happy. <sighs> What's this? Oh, hey, kiddo. Everything all right? What? Go back to bed, honey. Daddy and I are a little busy, okay? You did it! You stopped your dad. You saved your mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And now there's nobody left to stop me. I'm off to another team, team, team. Connor, no! Who the hell are you? I'm the coon. This is your kid from the future. Our child from the future? Oh, God, I knew something like this would happen. Our child knows we've been lying and wants some answers. You're right, kiddo. We've been dishonest. But only because we wanted to protect you. The truth is, your mom and I have certain abilities. Powers that normal humans don't have. I discovered mine when I was younger. One day, I created a Facebook profile. And within a few hours, I had over three million followers. <laughs> My powers are similar, except they only seem to work on Instagram. I got four million followers as soon as I posted my first picture. Of course, powers like that don't go unnoticed for long. Shortly after that, your mother and I were kidnapped by the government, where they had scientists spending months doing experiments on us, trying to figure out how we were able to gain so many followers so fast. That's where your dad and I met and fell in love. Inside a cold, damp government lab. Yes. By day, they ran experiments. And by night, we made sweet love. My powers combined with your mother's, you received over 10 million followers the minute you were born. <laughs> and by the time they cut the umbilical cord, you were already more powerful than all the Kardashians combined. That's why we had to escape. Because we knew the government would use you to do horrible things. Then we've been on the run ever since, moving from city to city, always trying to stay one step ahead. But everywhere we go, you just can't seem to stop gaining followers. Sometimes they even break into our house and use our toilet just to be close to you. That's why we've been putting special medicine in your dinner, sweetie, to try to curb your powers. But it didn't work. The side effects of the medicine just gave you really powerful and really smelly farts. We're sorry, kiddo. Oh my god, I feel so relieved to have finally told the truth. Me too, honey. I... You know, I don't think I need to drink anymore. And I don't need to run from my problems with pop brownies. Oh, honey, I feel like our future is going to be totally different now. I believe in us. Oh god, Barf. What about you, sweetie? Now that you know the truth, do... Do you think you can believe in yourself, too? Oh, god. Here we go. A. A. Yo. What? What? I don't know what I'm doing, but it's cool. Oh, I believe in myself. Hi. We're back in downtown South Park. But where is everybody? More importantly, what period of time have we landed at? Alright, let's get this thing started! Look, Butlord! Today is a great day for South Park! This town has sucked for a long time, and finally Mitch Connor's gonna be sworn in as mayor! 
It is my honor to introduce Mitch Connor today, a man with some fucking balls to finally turn shit around. You did it, Butler. It's inauguration day. We can still stop Connor from becoming mayor. Let's do this. Oh my. This way. <laughs> this way. Okay. Uh. Come on. We can still stop this fucker. There he is. Guys, y you're alive. Oh, thank God. Mitch Connor's about to be sworn in. Come on, guys, we gotta stop him. You're not going anywhere, you piece of shit. You're gonna finally admit this was all you. I am not on Mitch Connor's side, you guys. Stop this. You are Mitch Connor. Admit it, Cartman. No, I'm not, Cal. Admit it. No, Cal. I have no control over Mitch Connor. You are Mitch Connor. You've always been Mitch Connor, and you better stop right fucking now. Then how do you explain this, Cal? <laughs> Well, 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 the plot thickens. What? That's not funny, Cal. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Dude, fuck you. What's the matter, Kim? <laughs> She's on the other hand. Cal, fucking knock it off. Why are you pissed at him? Because he's fucking making it up, that's why. I'm not making it up, dude. That's your fucking hand, asshole. Stop fucking trolling me. How is he trolling you, Keen? Because he's trying to teach me a lesson about being deceitful. Wait, so you admit you were making it up before? See, this is a troll to get me to admit I was trolling See? you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is just what I wanted. All the coon friends at each other's throats. Dude, come on, are you doing that? Maybe he is. Which means maybe Cartman was just doing it before. Well, will you admit it, Cartman? You see? That proves it. See what he's doing? Right? I have no fucking idea. Oh, how one little issue of mistrust can rip a team apart. Well, Freedom Pals, who do you attack? Me or the Keen? <laughs> really? Knock it off, Kyle. Seriously, it's not fucking funny. Dude, I'm not doing it. Bullshit. What's the matter, <laughs> Coon? You're not happy to see me? Fuck you, Cal. Fuck you, Cal. Wait, who am I attacking? Yeah. Ouch. Wait, I'm not Coon. I don't. Turn of events has boggled even my giant friend. New rule: any damage I take goes to the Coon. Yeah, what? Uh, status effects too. What the? What the hell? What? Oh, stop! This is cruel. No can do, human cat. It's the ruse. You son of a bitch! I don't get it. Like, yeah, I don't get this. What the fuck? What? You're up now, butt lord. Who's it gonna be? Me or the king? I don't know. Whoever dies first, I suppose. No, I'm on your side. Did you mean to hit Coon? Fix that for you. Kyle, this is super weird. Jesus. You're up. Who are you gonna fight, Freedom Pal? I don't know. I guess I'm going after Kyle. You attack me, you attack the king. No such thing as deflector screens, Kyle. Shoot! Talk to the hand. Well, Cartman's dead. Ooh, that's gonna sting, Coon. You're having cheating. I'm not cheating. Uh, God, goddamn you guys. This isn't fair. I'll say. Oh! Well, 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 good to see you again, Mitch from an alternate universe. Oh, God fucking damn it. <laughs> this fucking game is amazing. Okay, um. There. You missed. I was right over here the whole time. What? What did that do? What was the point in that? Uh, uh. Take more than that to take me out, Freedom Pals. <laughs> do over. You missed. The fuck? The real Mitch Connor's gonna show you how it's done. So they fight each other as well. <laughs> Those two are fighting each other. Over there and I'm over here, so your hit didn't count. Oh my god, I don't get it. I can't believe this. Oh, now he's fighting us. You think you can just come in here and make your own rules, imposter? Will you stop messing around, Kyle? Uh, just put your hand down. You can't defeat the real Mitch Connor. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Let's <laughs> dance, Faker. Ah! Into the eye of the storm. Uh, end this charade, human kite. Oh my God! It's not a charade. This is Mitch's doing. I wasn't ready when you attacked, so I'm not taking that damage. <sighs> your movement is reduced, okay? Damn it! What the fuck? Freaking game, man. Show off my tool set. 
Hey. Stop before I break your fucking hand. <laughs> I don't need to take that, so I won't. Oh my but god! Need to. Jesus, man. This ain't doing well for us. Is coming online. Sorry, boy. I can't hit him for some reason, so I don't know. Oh, come on. Let me that, man. Okay. We done? <laughs> It'll take more than that for you. Ugh. Oh, this is getting fucking retarded. <laughs> I agree. The only way to end this is to defeat both of them. True. What do you do? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Nah, <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, uh, yeah. Gunslinger. Oof, yeah. Now, meet pal. You can get all of his health off. So much animations happening at once. Ha, you're not even good enough to be my fake. Cartman, this is your fault. <laughs> no cheating. My turn to get fresh. Oh, no, never mind. He's gone. Okay, no, I, I thought. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Boy. Oh, he's down. Yes. They're done. They're dead. We did it. Oh my, was that the last boss? I, I don't think it was. Dude, dude, enough already. You gotta drop it, Kyle. You fucking drop it, fat ass. Tell these guys you were just fucking with me. They're gonna just keep beating the shit out of both of us. Yeah, dude, Kyle, if you're just fucking with us, we have to know. You're just making things more confusing. If I was just fucking with you, then so was he. Fine. Maybe I'll admit it. I'll admit I was just fucking with you guys. But only if Kyle admits to it first. I'm not saying anything until he does. You admit it first. All right, fine. We'll both admit it at the same time, all right? On three, we'll both say I was just fucking with you. Fine? Fine. Okay, fine. One, <laughs> two, three. I was just fucking with you. Ha ha, gotcha. No. <laughs> that was so long, obvious. Our town has been led by a dumbass bitch mayor who never did anything to stop crime. And now Mitch Connor's gonna- All right, all right, enough talking. Just make me mayor already. It's Mitch Connor. Go on, hurry, swear me in. All right, uh, to begin the inauguration, Mr. Connor, would you raise your right hand, please? Haha. <laughs> I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Wait, wait, stop. No. What's going on here? Just finish this ceremony. Everyone, listen! This is all just a plan to get more crime in our town so that the Coon and Friends franchise would be bigger than the Freedom Pals franchise! Cat urine has been put into your drugs and alcohol to raise crime in the city so that the Coon would have more crime to fight. Everything was thought of by this asshole! Mitch <laughs> Connor rides a fat raccoon? <laughs> no, don't you get it? He did it all! Go ahead, new kid. Show them the selfie you took. Oh, selfie time. There Good. is. Now upload it to me and I'll put it on Connor's Instagram for everyone to see. Lit. Wait, they're not already uploaded. What? Okay. Uh, look, Mitch Connor's plan. Hey, they're right. You mean he was putting poison in our wine and cocaine? Why? Yeah, why? I'll tell you, eh. Because the new kid... Isn't the only person who had a parent get fucked. My dad got fucked when I was nine years old. What? Only two people on this stage know how that feels. Stop with that already. Shh, I want to hear this. My father will be avenged, even if it means everyone else has to die. Mitch, Mitch, it's over. Ma'am, what the hell are you doing here? I've been here all along, son. It's not your fault, Mitch. It's my fault. What are you talking about? <laughs> It was me, Mitch. I'm the one who fucked your dad. Whoa! What? The plot thickens. You fucked my dad, ma'am? Why? I did it for us, son. I wanted a future for you. All these years, hunting for the person that fucked my dad, and it was my own mother? Mitch, try and stay calm. Fuck you, kid! You may be really cute, but even you can't fix this. Did he look at you, ma'am? Huh? 
Did he look you in the eye when he snuck up and fucked him? Mitch, it was a long time ago! Not to me! <laughs> Stay to me! Forgive her, Mitch! Please tell me you're not buying into this. I'm gonna kill you for what you did! Then just kill me, Mitch! Please, you kill me! I don't wanna live! I'll kill you! They're dead. Finally. The nightmare oh, is over. Thank God that guy isn't gonna be mayor. Come on, everybody. Let's go get clean drugs and alcohol from the next town over. Let's yeah! Go! What? <laughs> I know that's not the end. There's got to be more after that. Fucking hell, I'm actually kind of tearing up a little. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, um, it's been a, it's been a long time coming. Oh, wait, see, I told you there's more. God damn. I mean, they could have just ended it there. Would have been a bit, yeah, but. <laughs> you're the tickle bunny. No, you're the tickle bunny. <laughs> oh, hey, kiddo. Been out playing with your friends, honey? This is a great town, isn't it? I love it here. I'm so glad that all those years ago we came clean about our child's past. I feel like, I don't know, like our lives are different now somehow. I love you. And I love you. Do I... wait. In fact, no? kiddo, would you excuse us for a moment? Mommy and Daddy have a little business to take care of upstairs. Oh, you little sneak. That's gross. I'm right here. <laughs> Do I walk in on them? <laughs> Did you really think you could stop bad things from happening? God damn it, Chaos. Don't you see that Chaos always catches up with you? You've tried being a hero. Why not let your darker side free? There's only one truth in this life, little kid. No matter how hard you try to change the past, you're always a fuck your mom. <laughs> and that's it. I don't get it. I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't know. Uh, that's a fitting way of ending this type of game. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was getting confused then. All right. Um. So that's the game done. Took me a little while, almost two months, but you know, that's just because I didn't get to play that much. But as a whole, I liked it. I think that it's not as good as the first game. I've had some people ask me that. Yeah, I don't think it's as good as the first game. Uh, I definitely prefer the combat in the first game to this one, and that's up for debate for certain people. Some people will definitely prefer this combat system to the last one because there is a lot more strategy and there's a lot more thinking put into it. But personally, I wasn't as big a fan of it. You know, I liked it. I didn't think it was bad, but I did prefer that, you know, turn-based Paper Mario style of combat from the first one. The game did suffer from a bit of repetition. You were basically, it, you would kind of know what would happen uh, throughout the story with the characters. Uh, you would go to bed, uh, you, 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 you go to bed, and then like a new hero would come and like you do the thing. So you did it with Tool Shed, you did it with Diabetes, the beginning actually, and then you did it with Mysterion. And you would do it with all of the different characters. And, uh, it they didn't even seem like there was as much of a shock value in this one as much as the first one. Uh, the, the, probably the most shocking thing about it, like the most jaw-dropping moment of it, was when you uh, find out what the police officers are doing, which is feeding all of the black people to the uh, outer god, as I'm just going to call him. Um, that was probably... And also, you know, fighting Jared from Subway was really funny as well, but... Sometimes the combat would freeze a little bit. Thankfully, it didn't complete. Like, I've seen it uh, actually, like, just stop the game and freeze it for certain people. Um, it didn't have that with me, but there was a bit of, like, loading in between, I guess you could say. There was a bit of waiting in between combat. And also, the lip syncing was a bit off at times. Uh, sometimes it was very noticeable. It definitely does improve off of things from the first game. It's bigger. The map is bigger. There is more, uh, you know, areas to explore. And I didn't explore... Uh, there were certain buildings I didn't even bother to explore. Um, a lot more side activities. And a longer story. The game was a lot longer than the first one. Um, and, you know, most of that, I think, can be put towards that challenging side of the combat. Uh, 
because of that, you are going to be playing the game for a lot longer. But that's really all I have to say. You know, I liked it. it it's... I always thought if they were to make a sequel after playing Stick of Truth like three years ago, I knew it would be superheroes. And, you know, they did it. And I think that while I do prefer the superhero setting more, I lean more towards the Stick of Truth. Um, the story was still really funny. It ends a lot more abruptly than the first game. Because basically, yeah, you know, uh, Mitch Connor isn't present anymore. Because he, he killed his mother. Oh. And then, you know, you get the whole thing where you go back home and... It basically ends like an episode of the show. Um, and I don't know if that's alright uh, for this. Because the first game had, I would say, more of a satisfying conclusion. And I liked the conclusion to this one. It, like I said, it just literally ends like it's an episode of the show. And it's a bit different when you're watching a 25-minute like five minute episode on TV. You know, compared to playing... I think I've put, honestly, almost 20 hours into this game. Um, you know, and having it end just like that. So I don't know if they're going to like clean that up with DLC... Or anything like that. Um, you know, there is a season pass. I haven't got it. Uh, because I don't know if I'm going to actually be tackling any of the uh, DLC of the game. Depends how big it is, to be honest. I'm not expecting 15-hour Horizons or Adon Frozen Wilds type, uh, type of DLC. But if it's like, you know, a 3-4 to four hour expansions, I'll definitely consider it. Because I do, uh, you know, want to play more of this game. I do like these games. And I do hope that we can get a third game. Uh, I don't know if we are, to be honest. Um, I guess it's up to Ubisoft now at this point because, you know, Obsidian were the developers of the last game. Ubisoft published it and Ubisoft took over um, development of this one fully. They didn't publish it as well. They, they developed it. So um, we'll just have to see. I would love to see a third game and then it could be like this little trilogy of South Park games. Um, and I guess it depends what they would decide to do in the next game. Um, pi some like Pirates or, you know... I don't really know. What else did he have? Like, I can't actually think, but I don't know. I'm hopeful we'll get a third game. As a whole, yeah, no, I enjoyed the game, and anyone that is a fan of South Park, it's something you definitely need to pick up, especially if you like the first game. And even if you don't like the combat as much as the first game, the humor and the style and walking around the town and interacting with everyone is just so much fun, and it is so authentic, and you can really tell they put a lot of, you know, heart and... <laughs> Uh, you know, time and effort into this, and it definitely paid off. I really did enjoy it. That's pretty much it. Uh, we can just, like, now, you know, explore the rest of the map. Um, like, I've got... Like, there's just loads of little other things I can do. There's there's side activities, and there's uh, other places I haven't explored. Like, I haven't even done this one. Like, I, I still need to get, you know, the character sheets. I still need to find all of the headshots. Um... And there's probably some more, like, scattered around here as well. So, you know, I've still got uh, ways to go. So I don't know if I'm going to cover it because, to be honest, like, I haven't even been up here. Like, up here is Canada. I know you're not able to go into Canada, but I didn't even bother going to this farm. So there's probably some, like, uh, side activities I can go through to get there. Um, but I don't really know. I'll have to see because, to be honest, this series has been kind of a weird one. Like, the views-wise have been some of my best this year, but the interaction on it has been... Very low. Uh, the likes have been the lowest and the comments have been an all-time low uh, compared to other games I've been playing this year. And that's fine because maybe not everyone is into South Park even though my last Sick of Truth series last year did well. So I don't know. Um, or maybe it's just because everyone was pretty much playing this game. I have no clue. But I'll have to see uh, what I decide to do on these side activities. I, I'm going to pretty much leave it up to myself if I'm in the mood for it or if I just want to play it in my own time because it's taken me almost two months just to upload all of this, which is ridiculous, but it's literally because of a lack of time of me not being able to play it. So I guess that's it for the game. Uh, so I'm just free to like walk around now and yeah, do all the other shit. So this is a, uh, one way to leave it. I uh, had a lot to say, but if you did stick around and listen to all of that, thank you very much. I appreciate it. This was one hell of a game. I definitely enjoyed it. And thank you to the small amount of you that did actually stick around through it. I really do appreciate it. And I think now we can go to sleep not having to think about more fart jokes and any other crazy shit that this game can dish out. And as you can tell, my voice is dying. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I guess I will see you all on whatever series I do next. Take care, everyone.